Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin. Uh, I'm not your usual uh, host, but I am here with Mark Goodliffe, and um, I'm here from the New York Times in the States to learn more about cryptic crosswords. And you're very welcome. Thank you for coming over. It's astonishing that somebody would come from the States. <laughs> I know Deb does, hasn't just come for this, but at least she's here. And um, our plan today is for me to have a go at the Times Cryptic for today. And Deb will fetch coffee, ask some questions, <laughs> yes. and find out a bit more about the solving process. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, so we'll start the puzzle and see how we go. Um, some so it takes a moment to load, but here now it while, comes. while we're loading, uh, Mark, do you have a favorite setter, or is that a, a, um, a cruel question to ask? No, it's a reasonable question, but unfortunately, in the Times, they don't you don't find out who the setter is. Oh, it's there's no byline. Homogenized. There's no byline for this one. I see. So we don't know who it is, and they've all been edited by the same editor, Richard Rogan, to okay. a certain standard. So yeah, very nice. Yes, there's I met. less deviation than in some puzzle series. Right, met Richard yesterday. Hi, Richard. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, so, one across says, cooked, this contains potatoes, certainly no turkey. 5-3. Now, there's a lot of clue there. Yeah. I'm, can I, can yeah, I yeah, take, a, take a stab? Absolutely. Uh, what do you say? Cooked, um, I think is could be the definition, but I would also think that it could be an indicator for an anagram. Very good. I think, I think you're onto something there. Wonderful. So if we take that cooked is an indicator for an anagram, it's got to be anagramming this. And then we've got a container indicator, which is actually contains. Right. So we want to put some form of potatoes Ooh. in an anagram of this, I think. Could it be but, chips? Um, it could be chips, but they're not, that's a good, a good, a good British English there. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> You're trying. But um, in this case, it's an even more British version Ooh. of potatoes. We need four letters since this has used up four of the eight letters in the clue. So we're looking for a variety of potatoes. And to, to focus on the definition, mm -hmm. we've got certainly no turkey, turkey, exclamation mark. And I think that's going to be turkey in the sense of a big failure. So right. we want something that's the opposite of a big failure. Now, the exclamation mark at the end, is that like our question mark in American-style crosswords? Does that indicate some sort of a wordplay there? Not necessarily. We, we would often use a question mark here, similar to how an American puzzle would use a question mark to indicate something's not not quite right, okay. but it means, I, I think it's emphasizing that it is the absolute opposite of a turkey in this case, so we're looking oh, for something that the does, that's <laughs> an extremely big success. success, right? So we've got, if I tell you that we that this anagram starts with an S and ends with a hit, can you think of something that um, <laughs> would... <laughs> As I so, always do. Oh. That would um, that would work as a sort of big success. Some kind of a hit beginning yes. with an S. Yes, I'm trying to think of the other three. Le it would be three more Four letters. Four more letters. Four more Four letters. More letters. Uh, it is a potato type. Well, I. I'm stuck on super hit, but I know that's not a... Okay, shall we come back to that <laughs> sure, one? Sure, let's, let's, let's do that. I, don't want, I know you're, you're starting to sweat here because <laughs> I'm taking too long. But <laughs> that's fine. This is a learning right. experience. That's great. So, one down says, small hill by first person in French capital. Ooh. Um, there's, again, Paris. there's quite a lot of stuff. Paris yeah. is the French capital, but I can't see how that's helping. The first um, person. first person wouldn't be an indicator for somebody in politics, right? It wouldn't be like we call our we call the president's wife the first lady. It wouldn't. Uh, it's unlikely. You're, okay. you're always looking for something that's a little bit more basic in a crossword. Clue. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> Although I say that, and okay. I think I think we're in quite obscure capitals territory here, unfortunately. Oh wow. First person in French is one of the meanings of I or me in French. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that that is looking for either je or moi. Of course it knowing is. Knowing my French. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell you on this one. Please there's, do. There's some, there's <laughs> and then we'll, and I'll figure stuff. out how you got it. Small in the Times crossword can be the letter S, which we're expecting this oh. to begin with because of okay. one across. Okay, right. So we've got an S. Now the hill is a fairly unusual hill, which is a cop, K-O-P. 
and yeah, yeah, yeah that's and when we it's, it's Afrikaans, okay. it's become it's immortalized in oh. a lot of um, football stadia here. There is often okay. a stand, especially at Liverpool, called a cop, right. after the Afrikaans word from the yeah. Boer War. Yeah. And anyway, then we get, we put that together with the je, and we get this obscure Macedonian capital city called, I don't know how to pronounce it. Maybe Skopje. 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 Let's yeah. go I with feel, that. I wow. feel more confident already. Now that, <laughs> that is about as obscure as yeah. the Times ever gets, in my view. So wow. that's that's a tough one. Men pierce. Now, men. Men is an absolutely classic indicator for soldiers, and that could be any of a number of possible abbreviations. Here we're looking for something pierced by A. So a short or. abbreviation or that's great, a bladed oh. implement. Oh my god. And one. OR is other ranks, which is one of the one of the abbreviations for men. Wow. Excellent. Fabulous, thank you. Great stuff. <laughs> So let's have a look at 12 cross. We've got a J at the beginning of a phrase, 5-5. Five, five. Marine. Marine received alarming signal at sea. Now, I don't know what that is yet. No. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but we, we've got to focus on this alarming signal at mm -hmm. sea. What could frighten you at sea? And begins with a J. Oh. oh. Um, and if I point you towards pirate literature... Oh, Jack um, Sparrow? Jack no, Sparrow is good, uh, but we're but looking for five, five, five. Right. and there is a there is a classic pirate piece of paraphernalia that fits that. Oh yes, um, I can't remember the name, but the I think the pirate flag, the skull and crossbones, ja uh, is sometimes called the Jolly Roger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I can see the skull and crossbones. Couldn't get to the name. Jolly is an old word for a marine, I think. Of course. And received, okay. as in radio communications, could right. be Roger. Oh, as in got Roger it. and Al. Wow. So that's Jolly Roger. Let's have a look at two down. We've got a couple of letters here. Opening lyric, a concert's lyric? opening material. Oh, sorry, I misread okay. it. Orig original lyric, a concert's opening material. Well, that's good. Because what, what do we think? <coughs> Overture? No, well. Original's Overture. an interesting okay. word to focus on. Yes. Um, well, I'm trying to keep it basic. Yeah. Um, what I don't get in clues in cryptics is when you know something stands for a letter. That's a very fair point. I mean, it's a very fair point. It's a matter of experience I to see. a lot of extent. Okay. So it's just like American crosswords. You have to practice. Absolutely. And what we call crossword ease and what American crosswords call crossword ease really helps, but they're totally yes. different things. <laughs> Got it. So okay. here, what we call crossword ease is standard phrases or constructions that give you one or two letters. Okay. Or a very short synonym. Right. Now, in American puzzles, a crossword ease normally refers to a very common entry that you see again right. and again. Mm -hmm. um, and that you wouldn't, and things. that you wouldn't necessarily hear in regular spoken English. Absolutely. Whereas here, we're looking at something like that OR for other ranks. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to come across that in real life once a year. Right. But I'm going to see it in 50 crosswords <laughs> this year. Right. It's, it's and if so it comes up at a cocktail party, you might be asked to leave. Uh, it would be a very odd thing yeah. to bring up unless you're with military people. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So here, I'm seeing original, and I'm thinking that's an anagram indicator. So let's... See, I, I missed that. I was thinking original maybe going back to the Bible or something like be. that, but, I, I, but original I'm overthinking it. But original can also say in an original way. Oh, so lyric. So if we take wow. lyric A concerts. and concerts opening, which is the letter C, yeah. And we put together lyric A and C in an original way. And we're looking for a material this time. Right. Oh, acrylic. 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 Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. There we go. In it goes. Fabulous. No problem. No. Oh, man, I can't oh. write because oh, I forgot okay. that this <laughs> I do that all misses the time. out the letters that we've already got. So there we go. Shall we move on or shall sure. we keep going? Yes, let's 15 across. Such a clue gets a mark of affection. Now that one has a question mark. It does. Absolutely right. And that question mark is probably going to indicate, there's two things it can indicate. One, that we're kind of cheating a bit. Okay. It's not quite so it's what stretch. it says. We would call that stretch. stretchy. Absolutely. Or secondly, that it's giving an instance of something. So it's, a, it's instead of saying, for example. Okay. Um, and I think it's probably that this time. But such a clue gives us a chance here because we know crosswords, we know how clues divide up 
and one of those fits straight in here. This is okay. an example of a certain type of clue. Right. It doesn't matter the, what the construction is, I'm just literally looking at the groupings of clues here. Okay. So this one is an across clue. Oh, okay. And a mark of affection, you could put a cross to indicate a kiss. X, yes. Or a tick. So a cross is the answer. It's okay, still no, I, I do that, that too. There we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't so, do it. Close I can't enough. Do it. I can't <laughs> right. write it's okay. So there uh, we go. Perfect. Wow. Um, so again, there's not much going on there. It's just right. a hint of this type of clue and then another definition of the the word broken down into a cross. Mm -hmm. Toy goblin. Toy goblin. Beastly. Empty junk. Hmm. I'm not absolutely sure about that. Beastly is suggesting possible anagram indicator, but toy goblin doesn't have enough letters. Empty sometimes suggests um, emptying out a mm -hmm. word and just using right, the, the BY something. from Beastly or the right. JK from Junk. Um, and I'm not seeing that either. So. Mm. I was. Well. Uh, I would, okay, I, I think I know where we're going. Six. I don't quite know why, but a goblin. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, you, could you anagram goblin? You could. I think in this case we're looking for a short synonym for goblin. And okay. As we advise on the blog quite a lot, short synonyms are well, very toy, helpful. Toy would indicate short. It might, although I think it's the definition this oh, time. Okay. Oh. So what I'm actually thinking here is there isn't a word for goblin which sometimes goes with goblin and becomes, becomes oh. a whole goblin. So hawk oh. is another word for goblin. Right. Um, and then if we empty out beastly and we get that by, as I was suggesting, then we have a word beginning hobby. And I, you know, there is a toy hobby beginning horse? Hobby, hobby horse, exactly. Wow. Now, white horse is junk. Is that a drugs yeah. reference? But it was, oh, yes. Probably. Horse and junk are both heroin, I imagine. Yes, yes. I'm pretending I never take heroin. No, <laughs> okay. Well, we're never, yeah. No, there's nothing like that going on here. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> I think, I think I was convinced yes. right. there. But now we can go back to one across, and we were looking for some sort of hit. Right. Well. Anything coming to mind there? Usually it will, but. Oh, it's possible. Yeah. This isn't an American expression. Oh, it may be British okay. only. Could, in which case, uh, I'm going to fill it in. Please do. As S oh, smash, smash it. No, that is. Smash it. We would know that, and I'm not sure why I didn't. Uh, mash that. is the potatoes. That we're oh, looking for see, and I'm thinking of variety. I'm telling you, I have to stop overthinking things. <laughs> very, very yeah. often that's the case. You really I don't want to dial it back to the simple exactly, stuff. Exactly. You don't need yes. Jersey Royals. Not a Yukon Royal Gold, right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wonderful. All right, can we try uh, ten across? Ten across, beginning with a B, with the phrase four and seven. So it reduces friction in social event oh. with standing. Booze. Sorry. <laughs> Booze does. But now I think you're well, we've unfortunately got four letters. too much. I think yes, you're too right. literally about what the clue is saying. I'll, eventually I'll wind up somewhere in the middle. Exactly. Exactly. I love how the, uh, they help you by putting the bars where the yeah, words are. Yeah, that's a recent Very development much. in the Times. It's quite helpful. Oh. Thank you, Richard. So here we're looking at um, we want to make up something that reduces friction by mm -hmm. putting together a social event and a word meaning standing. With, with because the word with is, with is a connector. With implies you'll connect the two bits of right. the workplace. Together, and it right? reduces friction is uh, the definition, you think? Yes, I think so. Right. So uh, we need probably a social event beginning with a B. It's probably just the four letters. Bash is possible if we can think of a friction reducing phrase beginning with bash but there is another social event that i'm thinking of that normally involves dancing mm. oh. now my now my word cinderella are, goes to one oh ball ball yeah, and reduces, something that reduces friction oh um ball what are those bearing. ball bearing, ball bearing. Yeah. and bearing means standing very nice yeah. so fairly fairly straightforward well done excellent Wow, look at that one. So we've got the top left done now. Four down. Person need. I mean, this one, I'm just looking at the letters we've got. And yeah. I don't know how much this applies in American puzzles, but 
I know what the answer is, but, and I haven't oh, yeah. even looked at the clue. No, I, I do that too, because the pattern of letters some, sort of reveals it to you. It's, it's clearly got to begin with ill. Mm. And then I can think of a word that fits Maybe left going with after that. Maybe left with So, uh, person needing prison doctor. I mean, there's a lot of words here. God. Maybe left with inflamed rash. So, person needing prison doctor. That's it, the whole thing. It's quite a clever thing. That's all a part. Mm. So you kind of need somebody who needs a prison doctor. All right. And that, we can virtually tell from this star, that's an ill gong. Right. He needs the prison doctor. Yeah. So maybe left, what could left be? It's one um, thing or another. Something that is left might be... Um, remaining? Oh. Left or right. Oh, okay. So uh, that makes it wow. a side. I'm really bad at this. Con ill considered. Ill, Ill considered. With red. And being red is inflamed. inflamed, but rash is the definition. Very subtle. Ill slipped in at the wow. end of the clue. Wow, very well done. So it's, it's beautifully done by the compiler to have yes. inflamed rash and then not connected. You have to split them up. Inflamed is red and rash is ill considered. Wow. So, and I love this because you could a person who is not very as experienced as you are could sit and ponder these clues all day. I mean, just right. one clue is it's is like a puzzle in and of itself. So you, as opposed to the entirety of an American style puzzle, you get a puzzle for each and every clue. Well, that's the joy, that. and that's what we that's what we try and preach to people. That the fun yeah. of doing cryptic crosswords is that every answer is a bit of a buzz. Yeah, like it really not, is. I mean, maybe that's true in American puzzles, but perhaps well, a bit yeah. less so because you it's get, more about fitting them together. You, right. It is about fitting them together, and you do get that aha moment. But what I love about cryptics is that you get that smack upside the head, that yeah. aha moment for every single clue. I think that's right. right. Yeah. And I mean, I think that is absolutely one of the joys of yeah. these things. It's very satisfying. <laughs> it really is. Especially <laughs> when you've got somebody here yes. who's showing people away. <laughs> Shall we carry on? Please. Yeah. 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 Okay, so let's have another look, another long one here. So again, the, the long clues are quite, the long answers get quite long clues, they which do, doesn't make them easy. But no, but what I love about these also is that um, generally you can get a good foothold in an American crossword puzzle by solving the shorter clues and sort yeah. of fitting things together. Here it doesn't really matter. You have to ponder everything individually. It doesn't matter if it's a long or a short. And I think that's entry. right. That's true. But... So, 11 down, we have an 8-5 phrase, beginning mm -hmm. B something E. Server's problem about gin spilt mm -hmm. in tense moment. No, um, I'm getting anagram. Excellent. Okay. I think there's only a bit of anagram. Right. So, I think we're just looking at gin being right. anagrammed by spilt. Now, do you, you have the same rule we do in crosswords where the tenses have to be the same. Absolutely. Right? Okay. Yes, indeed. That's true. So... We're looking, I think, to put a server's problem, whatever that is, about, I'm guessing it's in. Yeah, I'm guessing gin that's spill. it, yes. Normally, there's, yeah. a, there's only so many anagrams and of gin. I'm going to be a bit surprised if it doesn't go there. So now, how, tell, tell me why you think. Because we've got an eight fried phrase. We've got, got it, and that's where, so that's where the, the first word, word meant. Yes. And we're, we're putting something around it. Mm -hmm. How can it not go there? I might be wrong, and I don't know what the answer is yet. So, I, I'm, can I take a guess? Absolutely. Well, no, tense moment. And I, yeah, I think the whole thing means tense moment. Right. Um, and I don't know what that is yet. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a bit embarrassed. I feel I should know what that you, is from this. You probably should, and I'm ashamed of you. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm just kidding. But um, see, what jumped out at me, although it doesn't mean tense moment, is bleeding heart. But I don't think that's... It's a great yeah. phrase. Well, it is a good phrase, but it's, it's not... It wouldn't get me any points in this puzzle because no, I, I don't think that's I what don't it means. Think it, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm thinking breaking something <coughs> okay. because that would be breaking. a problem for a server if he broke yeah. a plate or something. Yes, oh. yeah. So server breaking problem. glass. Yeah. Breaking oh, glass? glass. Is that a moment. tense moment? I don't know. It, breaking. I kind of like it, but yeah. I don't know. It's, it's not quite enough of a phrase for Great. me. Now, I mean, this is one of the differences actually between. UK and American crosswords is in American crosswords the entries can be and indeed are often praised if they are kind of Unusual. on the edge of the language. We call them just crunchy. about yes. coming in. You've yeah, very lively entries. Whereas in our puzzles, 
You get Everything. really bad reaction if it's not in the dictionary. Yes. Or if it's not yeah. in the dictionary. Well, we get yet. that too. You yeah. would be surprised. Yeah. And yeah. A yeah. largely, surprised. it depends. That's it good. depends on the demographic of the solver. A lot of uh, older people don't like it when there are newer phrases, and a lot of uh, yeah. younger solvers don't like it when uh, the phrases happened before they were born. <laughs> but, uh, That's intriguing. So and I think we have a lot more of the the. Uh, the former style. And uh, yeah, yeah, so it is sort of the opposite because they you have tend to have more basic entries and the it sparkle is all in the clues. Yeah. And the and the that's, construction that's, of the clues, that's, which that's I, I love. think true. And but but people do get very stressed, even if it's right. a new word refuse refers to computing or something. It's like that's right. not fair. I never learned that when when I was growing up. <laughs> so we're gonna have to move yes. away and okay. have a look at something else. So six down here. Just yes. dropping marks in exam. So we're looking for an exam mm -hmm. that can be a word for just right. dropping, and here's the crossword E's, M can be what marks represents. Mm -hmm. So we want to get rid of an M out of a word meaning just to give us an exam that fits okay. blank, blank, A, blank. And what I'm thinking is moral. And if we drop oral. the M out of that, we have an oral. Wow, look at that. So... Um, that would probably be crossword ease in terms of the answer. You really? get fairly an oral used exam? to seeing an oral, okay. especially clued as an exam. Oh, well. Um, I don't know why, but it, I've seen it a lot. Mm -hmm. So, five across, sort of film, entertainer going into space. And again, I don't know what this is yet. Mm -hmm. I, I think we're looking at sort of film as the mm -hmm. definition, and we're looking to put a word for an entertainer could be a wit or a wag or something like that mm. into a word for space. Um, I can't even see what that is. So the O should be helping and isn't really. So we'll try something else. As always, don't waste too long on a clue you can't get. No, no. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no point. Um, eight down. Artist shows courage in China. Mm. So now we're looking to put a word for courage in a Great. synonym of China. And I say oh. that very carefully because China gets used in puzzles because it's a bit of old Cockney slang. Oh, uh, wow. That you guys aren't going to know. Yeah. And China can be a pal or a mate. Yeah. In fact, oh, I think yeah. the, the, the specific rhyming okay. slang is from China plate. And you see a mate. mate. Okay, yeah. mate. Yeah. So, so if we actually use mate here and put yeah. mate around a word for courage, there is an artist that we can come up with who is, I want to say French, but I'm suddenly thinking possibly Belgian, but um, mm. René Magritte, mm. who famously oh, great. Yeah. Um, yes, did Sine Pazin Peep, is mm. great in mate. Now, I mean, that's not simple. No. Um, and it's a little obscure as an answer as well. Well... Yeah, I think I think the thing that would have gotten me was not knowing that China was China being because made. it was How could you know that? because exactly. well and no, if that it was I wouldn't have known that it was Cockney rhyming slang and because it's capitalized I would have thought that they meant the country at the very least if I suspected yeah, wordplay perhaps a plate. point it's yeah. it's a bit cheeky to capitalize yeah. it like the clue is yeah. faking it a bit there wow. but you could write. Mate with a capital M as well, so maybe. Yeah. And I'm of course, familiar I'm, with China as well. Oh, you are? Yeah. You've grown up with British films where people well, go, hello, me old China. His no, parents are from South Africa. Very good, okay, excellent. Well, 13 across here. Website where wife and kids get 50% off. Now, that, this is a classic. This, this is, is interesting. A, an interesting clue where website's the definition, but the 50% mm -hmm. off is very literally saying, Take wife, of it. the word, yeah. take kids, wife the off. word, take a half wiki. of them off, and you've got a wiki. Yeah, that's wonderful. Oh, I got it. Wow. Well done. Sometimes I solve them, and I don't even know you why. You don't even know why. <laughs> <laughs> just, but you could get in trouble. You go, yeah. I've solved it. It's Wi-Fi. You put yeah. it in. It fits with everything. And then you've got one letter wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, seven down. Chicken, I note, provided in cheap eatery. Ooh. Cheap eatery is could um, cheap eatery be the definition? I don't think so. Chicken. I think we're looking at chicken as the definition. Remembering that the remembering that the definition is either at the beginning or the exactly, end. Exactly, but it right. could be cheap eatery, and I, yeah. I don't know the answer. But provided, as Simon pointed out yesterday, is if nine times out of ten, if if yeah. provided, I know it could be I 
N or even I, one of the notes from A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So I think we're looking at putting I, N, if into something, but I don't know, in I can't, I'm not seeing how that gives us either a chicken or a cheap eatery yeah. at the moment. So I'm going to give up there as well, okay. move on to 16 <laughs> across. And I mean, a lot of it is just attacking the clues around, you can yeah. do. Absolutely, right. that's what I so, tell people. Always start with your guineas. <laughs> so start with the ones that are good yeah. for you. So attack on fortified building is exercise 4-3, and it ends in T. Now, I think we're helped a bit here by the fact that we've been speculating about breaking at 11 mm -hmm. down. So if this begins with a K, mm -hmm. we need a fortified building and an attack. And they're going to make up some exercise. Now, again, this may not be a term that you use much in the States. Keep fit. Uh, keep it's sort of, is yeah. a fortified building, clearly. And oh. if oh, you have an attack, yeah. you have fit. Wow. In the kind of medical sense. Okay. So we can probably fill in breaking wow. now, although it doesn't get us any. It doesn't get us much, but we're pretty confident it's breaking something. Mm -hmm. Now, let's just go back to this 7 now, which now it's in an F. And there's not many words that fit there. No. Bailiff, caitiff. What is a caitiff? No. Caitiff is an old word, possibly Shakespearean, and it could mean a coward. And a cat, oh, chicken. C A double F, could be a cheap eater. C A double F. So in fact, provided isn't oh. if, it's just, I think I is I, note is T I from Solar T Do. Of course, that T <laughs> yeah. in this case, yeah. and I think we get this ancient word "caitiff" as the answer. Yeah, that, chicken. that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm not going to disagree yeah. with you at okay. all. That's a vicious word. Right, it is with vicious, Richard. I know where you work. <laughs> and, and Richard, you're in trouble because she yeah. does know I'm, where I'm you work. I'm coming for you, Richard. Yeah. Okay. Um, so going back to this sort of film, dot com would fit, but maybe something else ending in com is a sort of mm -hmm. film and an entertainer. Ah, could be oh, just a, cam, something cam? Mm, something com. What sort of films? Some sort of comedy that is a star. Oh, rom com. Rom com. There we go. Enter that, that going into put, space? An entertainer is an MC oh, going into room. Oh, uh, of course. So when the MC comes into the room, then you have a rom com. Who knew? Very, very cute. 20 across. Rocky Ravine is greener. Well, Rocky, that's. That's mm -hmm. a big anagram indicator straight away. Right. So, and, and we've got a six-letter word with the end that we already got in yes. it. Yes. Uh, so we need a synonym for greener from Ravine. <sighs> <laughs> um, Bearing in mind that, yes. you know, the same as your part of ER. speech point. Yes, going to end in ER. ER. Exactly. Naive. Naive. Wow, <laughs> that's quite an interesting word there. And that's greener. Well, is that's it a greener. word? That's greener. Okay. Whoever uses naiva. We we have those. Yeah. We have a lot of those. <laughs> a lot of yeah. unusual comparatives. So, right. Yeah. Oh. Um, so blue. we're still moving. Sort of blue uh, colour. A round uh, elevated cable live or live, live on the outside. Now would elevated cable be like an L? Do you have those here? We call like the above ground trains um, L's. We don't call them that here. Okay. So it's very unlikely, I think. Mm -hmm. um, elevated. Also, elevated would, would sort of exclude that, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you have. Yeah, not entirely. I mean, elevated train, yeah. I see once in a while to be a Chicago style L. But no, I but I mean, if you have the word elevated in the clue, does that exclude it from being part of the answer? Like, in our. Mm -hmm. No, that wouldn't count as a dupe quite because it would be abbreviated to EL in a way. So Got it. that might be okay. It would be a bit of a giveaway. It wouldn't be very time style to do that, but mm. it, it would be allowed. What I think we've got here is elevated for a down clue suggests something being written backwards. Oh, upwards. love those. So if we find a word for cable, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking wire, let's reverse that. And that gives you mm. E-R-I-W. Now, that doesn't sound like it fits in anything. <coughs> but it could be part of it. But it could be part of it. And if it was Aerith. here... Yeah. Then we've got the start of a word that... Periwinkle. Lovely. Is that a sort of blue? Yes. Yes, it is. It is. Pink is another colour. We put that around Eriwa. 
and we add live on the outside, just the outside letters. But I don't understand how we... Sure. How, I'm sorry. How did, we how did I get there? I... Well, we started with... So, sort of blue is the definition. Mm -hmm. So, we can put that to the side. Right. And that's periwinkle. Then, around. we the elevated cable is E-R-I-W. Mm -hmm. And we oh, put wow. a colour around it. Pink. And that colour is pink. And that's given us periwink. Already. Oh, oh, see, I was reading a sort of blue color around. Understandable, so, yeah. but color is not in the definition. That's part right. of the play. This that's time, maybe the next time. That's cruel. And so, how did we get the L? So L E from live or live on the outside. On the outside. It's the outside L and part e. Got it. Live. L and e. Man. So well done. At least you know you thought. No, what, what could every work go into? Periwinkle. And Bam. that's exactly what I do. Is I get the answers and then I I back them out. Yeah. Absolutely, that's normal. That's okay. what I do. If I'm in the Times Championship, I might not bother to go backwards and work out how it worked because no. I want to no, keep because, going yeah. and get right. on with it. And what else is going to fit in a space where periwinkle fits? Nothing. Very so good. if it crosses yeah. with everything, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> 26 okay. across. So sweet. Now, sweet. if something is in quotes, what does that mean here? Um, that's a very good question. And I don't know. I think it normally just means... It's in quotes to make the clue surface work. Okay. But I'm not really sure. Sweet, summarized daughter brought in indisposed. What it does mean here... Indisposed might be the definition? Mm, I, it could be, but I don't think it is. Because, okay. because I can think of a sweet that fits that. Now, you guys are not going to know this, in, oh, my, in well, my opinion. You I might. know, and I've had a lot it of sweets. How much, how much <laughs> well, your British possibly. knowledge goes. But so we're talking about a classic British pudding. Oof. Uh, um, oh, and we're looking uh, for a word for summarised. D for daughter. We're going to put all well, of there's that the D. in We've indisposed. already got the D in there. We have. Hmm. Um, and... Summarized in this case, or indisposed, mm -hmm. ending in a K. We need a short word for ill, ending mm -hmm. in a K. Sick. Lovely. So let's put sick around something and Ooh. come up with a bizarre, <laughs> yeah. bizarre okay. name pudding. S I and then C K. Well, we're going to end in it. Brought in. in. How, now, how did you know that S I? Or S, so S at the beginning, at and the then beginning I, C, K and at, the at the end. Because I, it would almost certainly split that way. <gasps> I know what it is. Do you? Yeah. What do you think? It's spotted dick. Spotted dick, and potted is summarised. Oh. So potted How? history. I don't, is it? I, mean, I haven't. Mm, it see, it means here. something very different in the United States. Potted, it's, drunk, we actually have, yes, potted, <laughs> well, fairly potted, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, it can mean that here. I, everything can mean drunk here. But, okay, uh, yeah, that's good to know. Pop, yeah. one we have, of them. It's one of the cultures where you have hundreds of words for the same thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Um, 25 down, what agitator does in time caught by teacher? So what does an agitator do? What is an action of agitating? Uh, um, both, I think, metaphorically stir? and figuratively stir. Exactly. And that mm -hmm. puts us time, which is the letter T. Useful of physics abbreviation by teacher, called by Sir, which is, is can teacher be Sir in, okay, it in can. your vocabulary? Although we'd probably get letters. Okay, it's very <laughs> so, classically a teacher yes. here. Sir or Miss wow. would be what you call your teacher a lot of the time. Okay. Um, Twenty-eight across in nomads' dwelling, mm -hmm. leave rolls for other food. I don't know yeah, what that us, is. is, and I don't even the, know what Nomads' dwelling be a tent. Not could bad. It, it okay. could well be. Leave rolls for other food. Just ah, yes. Yeah. It is a type of tent, but it's okay. an unusual one that a nomad actually might live in. Okay. A and yurt. Lovely. Okay. Lovely. Okay. So we're thinking yurt. And is there something we can put in yurt to give us a food? Yogurt. Yogurt. There we go. Oh, what, now what is Leave the, rolls. What is leave that? is translating to go here. And that is rolling, mm -hmm. turning round in that yurt. So in I yurt, totally missed that. Yeah. Go is rolling over. To leave is to go. To leave is to go. So we're rolling over go and getting O G. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> you see, what I was I can guess the word and I well, have no idea how I but, got it. But that's half the skill. Okay. I mean, even as for a, for a US puzzle, so have, you know, you can guess the answer yes. and then you yeah. you feel it might be right and it fits with stuff. Wonderful. That's going to be good enough. Wow. 
you do have potential. Everybody does, and you certainly have. Thank have you. Well, this is what so I tell our solvers. Seventeen down. Seek to protect birds heading for tricky takeoff. So seek there. Oh, there's, some, there's some weird stuff in this. Seek yeah. is, I think, translating. It's, it's going to protect something. Okay. And heading for tricky is probably going to be the letter T, because that is the heading for the word tricky. Okay, right. Uh, yeah. So if we're going to fit a T in, and something meaning birds before it, yeah. in something meaning seek, the seek has to be ending in Y. And I think in this case it's, T1? it's try, which is a bit of an odd word for seek, but it just T. is this time. Well... If you try to do something, you seek to do it. Right. That's about okay. the best That's synonym right. I can come up with right. to justify mm -hmm. that. So, so we're going to put a TR in, and it's going to end in STY, yeah. and it's going to be a takeoff or some some mm -hmm. sort of some sort of travesty. synonym of takeoff travesty, and that would give us aves as the birds. Now, oh, <laughs> to, me, to me, that's Latin. That's yeah. not English. But maybe but it fair. can be used by it's scientists. Fair. And it's avian, but it's a form that I would never have thought of. It's oh. very strange. If you saw aves in an American puzzle clue as birds, that's unacceptable. Right. Right. And yeah. to me, too, here, it's not, yeah, that's it's, not great. It's hard, I'm not loving that. Now, just before we continue, is there a, um, an increase in difficulty throughout the week here? No, not in the same way, no. Okay. There, there is, I think, a tradition that Mondays isn't too bad. And Saturdays... Okay. Since Richard Rogan's begun, I think, and maybe even before that, yeah. there's an emphasis on Saturdays being the best. It doesn't have to be the hardest. It's okay. just the cleverest. Just cleverest. Wow. Yeah. But in between that, that's, it can vary. So well, it's, it's not a week. Uh, ooh, that's ooh. not good. Okay. Let me, let me just see if I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Mark just went to go plug in. Uh, we're running low on battery, so if we disappear, uh, nothing's happened to us. We're just uh, trying to find a cable. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, that's a phone jack. This is terrific. I'm so happy. How am I going to solve these without you sitting without next to me? You just have to call me. I think so. Oh, no, it doesn't reach. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about we turn a little bit? How have I managed to put this PC in the exact spot in the room? <laughs> so difficult. There we go. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, we're back. Sorry, folks. So, yes, well, how are you going to solve them? Maybe we'll leave it to you for the rest. Oh, or no. Maybe not. <laughs> Said no official had a drug problem. Well, again. Said no. Okay. Lovely. Said no. Yeah. Yeah, you're focusing on spinning I, I it up the it right already. way. You've got it? Yeah, I refused. And why? Uh, well, uh, I think, uh, I don't know. Well, refused is a, a refused synonym said, said no. no. So that's and great. I know we have so many right. letters. We have seven letters. And there. what it's saying but in the rest of the clue, official had a drug problem, or the ref was mm -hmm. a user. Ref used. Oh, wow. <laughs> And um, so, they, well, what is the name of that clue where you have two words and you put them together to make one? This is, there's a name. The there. traditional name is a charade. Okay. Now I don't know why it's good. that's to me slightly overcomplicating yes. what I would just call an addition of two words. Okay. Yeah, but, but that's that's, 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 lovely. that's what the literature has called it. It's it's lovely in America. We just call the two words stuck together. Do you play so, charades where you kind of say you come up with do. a film title made yeah, up of two parts? Do, of course. And that's sure. kind of what what it's referring to. Sounds good. <laughs> Girl. So, girl and man. Oh, girl and man of God rebuffed. So That's we're looking. No, I or think is rebuffed is going to be not backwards. Okay. Yeah. So we're looking for a, a man of God, not backwards, and it's going to be a girl's name. But mm -hmm. you're kind of left in this man of God. This That's odd situation crazy. where you have to guess what kind of name a compiler thinks is a reasonable name. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we don't and want to insult him because it could be his daughter's name. It could well be his yeah. daughter's name, but I think that's a very interesting point because this is not going to be his daughter's name. Okay. <laughs> this is a rev sent backwards to give us Vera. Rev, Vera, oh. And I'm not sure when anybody was last called Vera in this life. Well, I don't think the compiler's daughter is no, called Vera. It's, it's a, quite an old name. Yes, it is. It's a baby boomer name. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. So, 
It's a bit of a strange wow. one. So we're almost done. Look we're at this. almost done. Let's just finish off this corner. I will never finish this fast again. Perhaps squirrel atop pine in the distance. So what are, what are you looking at there in 19 down? Let's see. Well, it's all one seven-letter word. It is. Perhaps. Do you know any seven-letter words that go in there? <laughs> um, not right off the bat. Perhaps squirrel atop pine in the distance. For, um, Fur. Oh, got Fur. it. Yes, go on. Furlong? Furlong, lovely. A distance. Yeah. Perhaps Long. squirrel, because a fur Long. could be squirrel fur. Uh, and God help us. why I is have... long pine? Yeah. Because uh, to long for to something. To long for something. Exactly. Okay. So it's quite nice misdirection. It is. But nice. um, the distance helps considerably. Yes, yeah. Um, it's amazing how, you know, you can definitely see the touch of an editor <laughs> in a clue that, you know, keeps you, it may, it may be totally evil and it may take you down many different roads, but uh, it, they definitely keep you on a path. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's exactly mm -hmm. right. And that is their job, probably. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, 24 across, landlord approving of new porter drinking one. So I'm yeah. guessing... I see the no the word one in clues mm -hmm. quite a bit. What does you it do. mean? It almost always means I, as in the Roman okay. numeral the, I. Okay. Not every time, but almost always. And we've got an I sitting in the answer. There, yeah, so landlord so approving of new... Landlord new, would be the Just be the like definition. with original before, yes. I think it has to be because of the one at the end. You're right. Mm. Um, new, just like original before, I think we're going to have to anagram Porter. With the with, with the I approving, in it, yeah. and then following, we've got three letters left. Approving of at the beginning must be something or something, which okay. I'm guessing is pro, because okay. if you're pro something, you're approving so, of it. Um, so we need an anagram for Porter. There's the rest of the letters we haven't got in this, mm -hmm. and the whole thing to mean landlord. Mm -hmm. Now, landlord isn't here necessarily only somebody who lets you rooms. It could be also someone who runs a pub. Oh, okay. They're called the landlord as well. Got it. That I would not have known. Because they used to give out rooms. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this time, I think we're looking at a word meaning owner, mm -hmm. basically. And that, with an anagram of porter, as the remaining letters, must be proprietor. Ah, okay. So not that That makes a lot more sense word, than what I yeah, thought it was. I thought it was going to be profiteer, but that's a little bit that's that's editorializing. <laughs> that's probably true. <laughs> yes, profiteer. Okay. Maybe that's what a oh, so land. Let's come back to eleven. Days. Yes, let's have a look at this again. So, service problem about oh, gin. It. Sorry. Tense moment. Breaking point. Breaking point. Yeah. And break point. Now I see why that's a service problem. Because it's tennis. Tennis. Oh, look we at that. We weren't thinking of no, tennis. No, we weren't. We were thinking of, uh, you know, somebody who serves in a restaurant. Absolutely. At least so, I was. Yeah. So I quite like that. That's okay. very neat. The service it, problem is a break point. That is that's very, very nice. neat. And that buys us quite a bit of real estate if we have it. It does. Been. It does. We're bursting into the corner now. Yeah. Farm animal to get on part of vessel. Ooh. So, a farm animal that mm -hmm. might fit the beginning of this, and I think we're looking for a kind of word for a cow. Okay. Which, I think we're talking about a steer, mm -hmm. which steer. is something you do see come up quite often. And the part of the vessel, again, I think we're, it's just, what's been very educational for me is mm -hmm. how much British vocabulary there is in this. Oh, yes. That I think is fairly generic. But again and again, we've come up with words, and as soon as we see it, I'm going, okay, why would an American know that an old style part, the old style part of a vessel a where ship. the poor people went, is mm -hmm. steerage? Oh, like farm animal have, to get on um, part of To get of on is to age. Oh, which wow. Which is a very neat bit every... of misdirection. You have to yeah. read every bit a bit differently from what you want to. So it was quite clear from the clue that to get on meant to get on board. But in mm -hmm. fact, it doesn't. It means to get older. No, that's a, that's amazing. So another very neat clue, really. Yeah. Um, so, but what I don't understand about that entry is, okay, part of vessel is steerage. That was that was the definition. I mean, okay. you would sometimes see that clue as kind of economy travel or something. No, I know what steerage is. Yeah. Class, but as a part of a vessel, I suppose a bit of it was divided up. Right. 
It's a bit. It's a bit strange. I've probably only ever seen steerage passengers in a, on a vessel in the Titanic. Yes. In the movie. Right. Uh, so medical abnormality nurse finally spies round head. No so, idea. So I think yeah. we're looking at nurse finally. So that's the last letter of nurse. Okay. And then, e. Yeah. Then we need a spies. word meaning spies that ends in a. Okay. For something short. In fact, an abbreviation. Round head. And then it goes, so we're going to put E and then something meaning spies around something meaning head. Ooh. And this. And that's a medical abnormality. Yeah. Now, these spies are finally not from my culture, but from your culture. It's the CIA. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, finally. So, we're going to put E C I A around something meaning head. And apparently, this word is a medical abnormality, which. I'm not going to pretend I knew exactly what ectopia meant before Ooh. we did this puzzle. I, you know what? You oh, that's mean. I'm wondering if it refers to an ectopic pregnancy. Ah, yes, very good. So, okay, that's at I least guess, that's what that I would guess be my guess. A medical abnormality is as polite a way as it's, you can get yes, to describe Yes, yes, and and so the well done, puzzle well is nothing if not polite. <laughs> exactly, it does try and stay polite. Yes, so we don't get much rudeness yes. in these okay. normally. Choose. You see how they avoided anything with spotted, spotted dick. Spotted dick, yes, and it's always it's always a pudding, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, twenty-seven. Choose, choose to be to heard still. still. So, either choose or still will be the definition. Right. And the other one will be a homophone. To be heard. For the definition. And I don't know what the answer is. So you you get you get on yeah. and solve this. I don't know what it is. Um. Can we try 22 down? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's get the other letter. 22 Divina. down. Diviner, gold, left for one to gather. Gold, almost always either O-R, a. the old heraldic colour, or A-U. A-U, right. So one of those. We've got an R, so it looks like it's going to begin O-R. Okay. Diviner, probably there for the definition. And then left for one to gather. In this case, I think that means putting L into a word for one. In fact, not I this time, but a word for one. Okay. So I think this diviner is an oracle, and okay, the one is the ace. So right. you've got O-R and then L in ace, okay. and that gives you oracle. That, that makes a lot of sense now. It works just about. <laughs> Again, diviner, that's a bit hard. Right. Choose to be heard still. Be heard. Um... I guess not many letters can actually go between a no, P and I'm a C. No, I'm running my bowels now. Uh, so. Pick. Pick. Pick sounds good, but what what, what does P I C mean as a pick? Uh, if that's an actual well, defined answer. Well, it could answer. be. It could be. It could be an abbreviation for Piccolo, which. It uh, could be for Piccolo, but, but I think you are thinking <laughs> that. If if you saw somebody, if somebody sent you a pick. Mm-hmm. It would be a picture. Yes. Or a photo or a mm-hmm. still. Oh, okay. Okay. So how is that choose How is that choose to be heard? To be heard? Well, I'm suggesting that... It's wrong. No, no, no I'm okay. suggesting that there's a homophone for that pick that okay. means choose, which is P-I-C-K. If you pick right, something, right, right. you choose it. Oh. So I think we're done. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations, Mark. Let's just I really appreciate it. Check it off and see if they don't mark us wrong. But thank oh, you very thank much. Thank you very much. Uh, this was great. I, I'm going to definitely try the Times Cryptic more when I get home. Excellent. Well, I hope you do because yeah. it is a good standard of puzzle. It's, it's not simple, and we've it's seen that. Not, but, but it is a very solid standard, and it doesn't cheat much on you. But look at us. Which is great. No which errors. Is great. I'm We've sure. I, I'm sure I brought down your your time average quite a bit. But well, maybe uh, and not I the time. But that. that's fine. Yeah. And the whole point of this vlog is education. So I that's hope, wonderful. I hope that's helped other people. And I hope, I it's hope helped so you as well. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to Thanks Simon so. Anthony. <laughs>